Now, Mr. Sears, the floor is yours. Five minutes, sir. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I guess I just start from a more confident place as a Canadian. I don't feel any anxiety about any Canadian government doing its best to represent Canada's national interests with any country on the planet. I don't think there's any evidence that we've ever failed at that job. So I don't start from a position of fear. I start from a position of confidence about Canada. Somebody asked, shouldn't we slow down? Why are we rushing into this? Rushing will be probably five to seven years. It might be as long as it took us with Europe, which was eight. Um, this is not going to happen in a rush. But if we don't start, the window will close because the Chinese will find other partners. People are lining up to establish deeper relations with China, no doubt. I guess the final thing I would say is this. Do we really think that we have a better prospect of securing prosperity for Canada 20 to 30 years from now without a closer relationship with the world's largest economy? I mean, how would that even be conceivable? We are a trading nation of 35 million people. We need to have those relationships with the growing and the powerful. And to end where I began, is it not really more important to ensure that we do everything possible to safely and peacefully integrate a rising and dissatisfied power into the international community of nations? I can't think of a more important task than that. Thank you.